I'm Eric Roden. And I'm Ray McCormack, and we're the publishers and editors of Urban Firefighter Magazine. We'd like to welcome you to this segment of Fire Engineering's Training Minutes, filmed at FDIC 2011 Hands-On Training Program. These training minutes are based on the Urban Essentials Hot Class, the largest hot class at FDIC. Come visit us at urbanfirefighter.com. Welcome to Training Minutes. I'm Lieutenant John Sorello, New York City Fire Department, and today we're going to be talking about a new tactic for the fire service, known as the KO Fire Curtain. Fires in high-rise buildings are always a challenge. When wind enters a structure that has a fire in it, it creates a high-pressure zone, increasing the heat release rate of that particular fire. The fire service is coming from, most likely, a low-pressure area, namely the hallway or the stairwell. That fire is always looking for that low-pressure run or a flow path from high-pressure to low-pressure. 1994, there was a devastating fire in the Bronx, and two firefighters from the FDNY began developing this device known as the KO Curtain. It will essentially block the wind, allowing the inside teams to make an entrance and frontal attack on that given fire. Essentially, by blocking the wind, we decrease temperatures in that fire apartment, and we also take away the push of the wind so that those lines can make it down that hallway, enter that apartment, and extinguish that fire. Or, at least, maybe get the door shut from the fire department into the hallway. What we're going to show you now is a deployment of the KO curtain. To deploy the KO curtain, first the firefighter will place the curtain on the sill. Once on the sill, the firefighter will take a measurement of his upper halyards. Once he has that measurement, he then will let the curtain drop out of the window. It will unroll and the lower halyards will drop down in position. The bottom firefighter then grabs the halyard, securing the curtain over the fire target window. The KO fire curtain is six feet wide and eight feet long. It has halyards both top and bottom, 15 feet long, with stainless steel clips on the end. It also has aluminum stays running through the fabric that is fireproof and rated at 2,000 degrees. Those stays don't allow the curtain to pillow into the target window. What you've just seen is the deployment of the KO Fire Curtain. It's a device being carried on all truck companies in the New York City Fire Department. That device is being taken into any fire in a high-rise building by the roof man, going to the floor above and deploying the curtain over the target window, which is being impacted by wind. It is creating a much safer environment for firefighters to function in the hallways so that they can take their lines down and do a frontal attack on that fire. Thank you for watching Training Minutes. I'm Lieutenant John Sorello.